Now, what about the leg? Talking about the heart and the brain. Here we go with the leg. This is a gentleman stopped four times coming to my hot, uh, office while walking along the Skyway. Had to stop because he had pain in his right calf muscle because he had a partially blocked artery in his thigh. Uh, sent him over for a pulse volume. You can see here it was. And after he had that, we, uh, I was so <coughs> focused on his heart, I totally forgot about his leg. Eight and a half months later, he said, Dr. S, I still remember when I first started seeing you, I was stopping five times crossing the Skyway to your office. You know, he said this last month, it was four times, then it was three, then it was two, one. He said, I don't stop anymore. The pain is all gone. Okay, Don, back you go to the vascular lab. And now, his pulse volume had more than doubled from what it had been. Now, the reason that was so exciting for us is that 1986, no statin drug. Now, I've given you tonight two, I think, powerful examples of persons who reverse their heart disease. One, right, Pro, Joe, the doctor with the heart problem who didn't take any statins, reversed his heart disease. Don, before statin drugs were ever invented. 1986. So that those of you who either cannot take a statin or refuse to not want to take it, don't feel that you can't really do this yourself. On the other hand, I think we have uh, another one of the leg, and that is, this is a retired uh, uh, chemistry, high school chemistry professor. He and his wife in their re uh, retirement, he was 78 years of age. They love to do these uh, fast square dances. And uh, he began noticing pain in both calf muscles. So a team of cardiovascular or of, uh, vascular surgeons, and they got this image of his vasculature to his legs, and you can see how calcified his arteries are, how diseased they are. He was offered an $80,000 operation to put this right, but he found us on the internet. We counseled him, and he said, Dr. Esselstyn, if I choose, your method, how long will it take for me to get rid of the calf pain? So I looked him in the eye with a great deal of wisdom. I said, probably about eight and a half months. Three months later, I got a phone call. Dr. Esselstyn, you do not speak the truth. The pain is gone. 